Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna, and my channel name is Only My Dreams. Thank you so much for coming by. Today is a Dollar Tree haul. Everything is $1.25. Um, let me just give you a heads up. I do have an Alta haul that's kind of small that's coming up. I just, I think I got both my boxes. I have a Sensi. I have a Timu. And it's a really, I'm going to have to like split it up into two videos because it's just that much um, for Timu. So that's coming up. I just shared a Shein try on. I'll put it up here plus a Shein haul of things that I just bought, you know, um, that I shared on a table that aren't clothing. So I have a plus size clothing right here. And then the other um, Shein haul that I just shared um, this week. Was it this week or last week? I can't remember. Well, let's go ahead and get into this particular haul. Um, one of the things that my kids got into already that they do have available and they still have available in my stores um, is the Hello Panda. Let's see, my kids, they ate it up. Gone, honey, gone. Um, this is the Hello Panda Caramel. So they had this box, $1.25, and you get six bags. Now, I know I had I had one or two people here that said, oh, that's supposed to be sold separately. Well, no, this one's not sold separately. This is actually sold via the box because the ones that they do sell separately are smaller bags. These are actually bigger bags and it scans for the entire box. So, yeah, there you go. My store still has like I think four or five of these boxes just sitting there on the shelf still for sale. So there you go. There's there's a difference if you look at the ones that are sold individually versus these. It's like two different two different things. But they don't have the chocolate, just the caramel. And you do get six bags, which obviously are gone already because my kids love that. Um, let's go ahead and continue with food since I'm talking about food. Um, I did jump on the bandwagon. I do normally buy Hungry Jack. Um... This is a good a good product to have if you're trying to build up your pantry. You're trying to buy something that's going to fill up your tummy um, with not a whole lot of cost, and you can feed a lot of people, meaning a lot of family members where family is six. Um, pancakes is always a nice way to go. So I did buy two of these Hungry Jack Complete Original Just Add Water pancakes. These are one pound each. I know it's like I'm catching my breath. I'm talking so much. These are one pound each. And um, this is the kind that I like. I like the just add water. Everything else I'm like, I don't like. This is the one that I like. So there you go. I got two of these towards my preps. Because um, I always say um, slow, and slow and steady wins a race. You just buy a little bit here. You buy a little bit there. And it does add up. Now, um, we do need us. We did need some croutons because we don't have any. All the croutons are gone. Um, so we have the New Field Eat Fresh Garlic Croutons. I got the 20% more uh, bag. They have the regular bags and then they have this one 20%. Uh, apparently this comes in garlic and it comes in season, but I didn't see this season in the bigger bag. So I did decide just to get this one bag. I've never tried this brand. If you guys have tried this brand, please let me know down below what your thoughts are. Do you think it tasted good? I don't know. It's my first time buying it, so that's why I just picked up one bag. Then I came across, um, let's see, uh, Kinder. I found a Kinder. Uh, this is the the mild. I was gonna say this is the wild barbecue sauce. No, this is the mild barbecue sauce. I did pick up six. Um, it is a fifteen point three ounce and um i don't know if it's kinders or kinders it's probably kinders I, i'm not too sure how you say it somebody told me how to say it but i can't remember but it's a really good brand and it's nice to see it there at the dollar tree making it a little bit more accessible for people on a tight budget honestly so there you go they have that available there heads up my store still have this available if you want it to get some, if they still have some on both stores, the one next to Aldi's and the one next to the rainbow, they are still available. Now the next foodie item, um, let's do Spice Traders Original Taco Seasoning Mix. This is three packs. I've never tried their taco seasoning mix for Spice Trader. And uh, I wanted to give it a go because uh, taco seasoning can be kind of pricey. 
it can like normally you know if you get like the name brand it's usually a dollar or a dollar and some change so to get three for a dollar 25 and spice trader is a name brand so they they normally have really good um spices so there you go i got that three of them in there and I don't know, the best buy date is March of 2024, just so you know. And for the pancakes, it's May of 2024 as well, just a heads up. I don't know the date for the for the croutons, sorry about that. And I did pick up, the kin oh, I don't know what the date for the kinder is. I was trying to think, where's the date for the kinders? I don't know, but uh, barbecue sauce lasts a really long time, will pass this best buy date. Um, here we go. I got some more of the Savvy Fair roasted chicken flavored rice. I enjoyed it. I did have to add more seasoning to it because we love our seasoning. We like all of our food well seasoned. Um, but just to get something that's already pre-seasoned is nice, especially if you're in an emergency type situation um, where, you know, you only got a little bit of fuel. You can only eat something very quick. This is already pre-cooked. It just needs to be heated. And this is already pre-season technically. Um, and this is good until 2023 of November. I did pick up a three of those because we really enjoyed it. I'm trying to think, what did I make this with? I think I made some meatballs. I was I was like really tired. I was trying to make a quick eat. So I made corn, this, and then I had some um, ceviche meatballs. And that's what the kids ate for dinner um, a couple of nights ago. That's what they had. And I did use this and they liked it. They actually liked it. Okay. Food. <laughs> they have the Sunny Delight. This is the uh, 56 fluid ounce. Um, this is a great one to have. Orange and strawberry. My kids really like it. Plus I got the 56 fluid ounce original Sunny Delight. My kids really enjoy this drink. So to get it for $1.25 is a really good deal. And it's really important to take care of our pantries. Along with that, I did find one. Okay, I am, I'm having a very hard time trying to find Garstner milk now in my area. Normally, I don't have a problem. I know when the big C came into town, I didn't see it for almost two years. Um, then they finally brought it back. But I haven't been able to see this in a long time. So I was able to get one of the Gossner Shelf Stable Milk. You, you keep it on the shelf. Um, it's good until July of 2023 on the shelf. It's actually works well past that. You open it up and then you're supposed to consume it within two weeks after you refrigerate it, you know, boom. We love to have that. We like it. Um, I did buy some almond milk for my family as well. The kiddos enjoy this one. This one is sweetened. The best buy date for this one is May of 2023. My kids love drinking this. Then I was able to find three of this kind of the Gossner milk, um, 1%. And the date for this is July of 2023. So I picked up three of these for my home and my um, pantry. Then in the laundry department, I was able to find some more of these. So I got four of the in-wash aroma boosters. Everybody says that these are the rejects from the downy, um, the downy, the downy kind. That's what they're saying. That's what everybody else is saying. And it looks like this, the beads. They're supposed to be like the rejects from Downey. That's what they're, I don't know if that's true or not. All I know is this stuff works, okay? And it's kind of hard to find. It is. It's kind of hard to find around here because, you know, folks pick them up. So I, I did get um, four, four in total of those. Okay. Then um, also in the cleaning department, I saw the Myers Clean Day Scented wood bead diffuser made with essential oils that's a lot to say it's supposed to give you 45 days worth of scent i have no clue um i know the lady in front of me saw it on a conveyor belt and she was like where did you get that those smell really good i need to get some more and i said well there's three or four of them left over there i only picked one um this is the honeysuckle because i do sell scentsy so I'm a Scentsy consultant. If you guys are interested, I will put a link up for my last Scentsy haul up here. And I'll put my web my web link down there if you'd like to purchase some Scentsy. Um, so I have, you know, I aromatherapy is my thing. So I burn things all day. So I only need one of these. I was thinking about maybe in the closet, 
Yeah. I didn't see the lavender. I saw a lot of you hauling the lavender, but I didn't see it. Now, the way this is supposed to go, ugh, it's supposed to, wow, this is like closed up good. Okay. Okay. I opened it up. Okay. This is supposed to go like this. So you're supposed to take this out from the bag, right? The self-contained. Drop it back in there, and you see all the holes? This has holes as well, you see that? Then this is you deciding how much of that scent you want to be emitted. That's that's the whole premise to that. And there you go. That's the whole premise. Um, let's do beauty. For beauty, I only got two things. I got the lip treatment mask from Global Beauty. That's a name brand. Actually, this is a replenishing lip mask. One is the gummy bear and collagen, and one is the cotton candy and collagen. They're both 1.7 ounce. And like I said, Global Beauty is a neat brand. It's something that you can normally find in um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, um, other stores. You can find this main brand there. So, yeah. So, I picked these up. Again, that's a lip treatment mask. You put it on, you just leave it on overnight. Then you take it off, Okay. And it comes in those two fun little colors and supposedly flavors. But I know I've tried this one before and I really liked it, but I didn't think it smelled like cotton candy. Um, but it was very nourishing on my lips. It was. Then the next thing I came across was this Batman Unlimited Instincts original movie. You do have the movie in here. Um, it got a little roughed up here in my bag. Sorry. But the movie's in there, but it also comes with a toy. So I thought that that was kind of cool. It's the only one I picked up. Because um, normally I don't pick up movies. I just don't. But this one had a toy in it. And I thought it was kind of cool. Especially if we got some Batman collectors out there. Be on the lookout. The stores do have these available. It would be a nice um, part of your collection if you're a collector. Okay. Then in the... Um, Toy department as well. Only one item from the final faction. Um, this is the Poisonous Edition, the Rumbler. So that was new. So I went on ahead and picked that up. My boys do play with Final Faction. They do. And uh, this one they didn't have yet. And their birthday's coming up on Monday. Martin Luther King Day. That's my twins' birthday as well. So it looks like this. And then you gotta put it together, okay? But they, you know, they, they do play with Final Faction. And Final Faction used to be sold um, via Toys R Us before they closed. And then you can find Final Faction as well in um, Walmart, Target, and what have you. So to get it for $1.25 is a good deal. It is a good deal if your kids play with it. Then in the um, crafting department, I found the chenille. The Just Chenille in yellow. I want it to make um, not a carpet. I want it to make like a chenille blanket for my dollhouse. And it's really pretty yellow. And then I saw this Just Yarn in Tweed. And I thought that would be a really cool carpet to make in that tweed color. Look at that. Look at all those variations. Just Tweed. There you go. By Premier. So they have that available right now, and that's what I'm going to do with these two products. Then um, in the electronic department, I saw the Tech Necessities Type C cables. Um, these are, we go through cables like no one's business. So I went on ahead and bought these. I'm not too sure if these are going to be compatible with the Androids that we have or with their headsets or with their games or I have an Android and I have a, a, an old iPhone. Um, so, you know, we'll be able to use these regardless. We always, you know, and this is supposed to have a fast charge. And this is not Dollar Tree brand. Not Dollar Tree brand. There you go. Which is nice. Okay. Then I did buy the Crayola Silly Scents. They did have the 10 pack. It was kind of cool to find that. You know, I got kids that love to draw and color and make stuff. And this includes the scents of strawberry, watermelon, cotton candy, pineapple, blueberry, fresh air, mint, peach, 
marshmallow and root beer. So those are the scents that um, these have, which would be nice for them to experience. And I was able to find another one of the eco-friendly, earth-friendly cork pens. I am loving these pens, you guys. So I said, if I find another one, I'm going to buy it. And I love that cork look. And it feels really nice in the hand. And it writes really smooth and well. So I was like, okay, I'm getting me another one because I like it so much. Then um, I also picked up this this is the uh this has this has a 24 month warranty that's interesting but it's just a big old mouse pad this is good for craft rooms for crafting if you if you need a mat if you build these up for your stamping um and this is good for your computers and your mouse you know frankie had requested this and i was like if i find one i'll buy it for you and it's by Vixing, Vixing, I think it's called Vixing right there. There's a name, but it's really, it's really big for a dollar twenty-five. That's a really good deal. But that is everything for this haul. Go check out my other videos. I had a lot of cool stuff that I shared, and I will um, talk to you guys later. Bye.